top down gearbox dismantle. Let's go. Lid off. I've already drained the oil out of it. Send me sticking out. Just gear up. Right. Have a couple plate put in there. spring in there in some of them in the earlier boxes we don't have those in the later boxes and then that comes out okay <coughs> right you need to check this ball bearing that's not a ball bearing Spring in there. <coughs> Rest of it, you can take some getting out. Let's we'll see if we can get it out. is just to locate the gears. There we go. That's out. Set the reverse light switch out. Okay. <coughs> right, we need to put it into reverse gear now. So power pliers on here. Move it over to reverse and then push it back. The reason we do that is it lines up this roll pin here, which you need to get out. There we go. Roll pin. Don't lose it. And that should pull off now. Yep. So we put a lot of grease on it. And that's out. Six bolts.
Exactly. <coughs> a tail shaft, I usually find it's best to put something sharp just there. Don't try and knock it off with that. Because <coughs> you can break that sometimes. That's just to get a part high up, then if it doesn't seal properly, it's above that level. tail shaft off and what often happens is the layer shafts come out with it because it's stuck in the end anyway that's off layer shaft came out of here So that means the roller bearings have probably got down at the front. Yeah, they have. So that's right. Next job's to get the selector mechanism out. Another roll pin. See where I'm getting it there, but just there. I usually put a magnet behind it and then tap it out. There we go. The other roll pin, which is slightly smaller than the first one. Then, this should come out now, sometimes I have to tap it, let's see. It's often worth taking a photograph of where everything is on these before you take it apart, by the way. Because you when you put it back together, you've got to get that right way around. And this roll pin goes up the far end. You need to get this um, speedo drive gear off here and it just taps off and use a soft hammer.
yourself. <coughs> the circlip on here, fifth gear circlip. hang these on a nail I've got fifth written on it I need to pull this off which is always good fun Top it off with a sort of with a drift. Best with a puller really, but that was a new one and I thought it would fit and it doesn't. So you, you synchro ring up front and that has to come out of there. That's your fifth gear synchro. Bit mucky. We'll clean that up later. At least the plastic bit in the back is intact where sometimes wear and break. when you're taking this off because this is the end of the lay shaft and you can break these quite easily and don't use your impact gun tightening it up you're okay on doing it
remove it. Right. You need to put it into two gears now to lock it. Reverse and reverse. Six millimeter socket fit on there. You can buy them, especially for tight mines. I think on eBay. Okay. That's off. Got a washer behind as well. Right, you need a decent two-legged puller, and you need something to go in the end there, that the gear will come up over. You can use the cheaper pullers, but they don't last very long. This is a Kuko one, I think, I think they call it, I don't know. Right. Yeah? Okay. Like I say, don't use the impact one to get this off, just use your spanner. I'm going to stop that there a minute, because my wife's just shouting that there's a coffee ready.